has a big announcement. We're living our dream. We moved to the beach. beach. Yay, we did. <laughs> we did. We, <clears throat> we moved, moved to the, to the beach. beach. So we're in a new season, guys. And so with that said, we're going to let our kiddos play while we walk and talk a minute. We moved to the beach. We moved to the beach. And um, it's just it's just a dream. It's like something we can't even believe we did. You want to go ahead? Yeah, so um, 2019 was a rough year for yeah. us. Um, I know 2020 is rough for all of you. It has not been the cherry on the top for us yeah. either. Yeah. But, um, this has just been something in our heart and some things have come up and I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait to live our dreams. Um, I don't want to put anything on hold. This is the first selfish thing we've done. We did not move for a church, a job, a school, a family, relationships. This is just for our family. And will we have church, jobs, family, and all of that? Yes, but we're going to put our family first for the first time. And it feels so weird. And um, there's been some struggle and we have a business coach who's been walking us through it and one day he looked at me and because I was like and this happened and this happened and this happened and he said Lori did you think it was going to be easy you just say hey we're moving to the beach which was before COVID started by the way yeah our dream has been long lasting we just had it all fall in place and we decided not to let anything stop us so he said did you think you just say we're moving to the beach and then it's easy and it's done and I said yes I did we did all the hard stuff 2019 was the hard year we're done and this is easy he's like Lori this is not easy <laughs> but it's worth it and so that's been our theme it has not been easy but it it's is worth, worth it. it and I just have a whole live now um, outlook so here's the thing like while we were going through this, you know, our mentorship saying to us, keep going, keep doing, your, you're doing great. It's hard for us to make the decision to move in the middle of all of the stuff that's going on. It was even harder not to get to hug all y'all's necks and see all y'all, but with social distancing, we couldn't. We had to keep going or wait and wait and wait. And he said, it's time to go. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna tell folks this. And so I'm telling you what we're told to tell you because it makes good sense. We did not let a pandemic stop us from chasing our dreams. We didn't let anything stop us from doing what we knew we were supposed to do, called to do. So here's the question. What things in your life are you letting you get held back from? What, what things in your life are holding you back from your dreams? Like are there dreams that you've got that you need to chase? Maybe it's health, maybe it's life, maybe it's relationships, maybe it's family, maybe it's ministry, maybe it's business, maybe it's finance, we don't know. But if there's something out there that's helped, it's, it's like holding you back. You guys just stick with us. We are an unstuck family. And in this season of life, we're just gonna live it out loud and take as many people as we can with us as we chase dreams together. And you know, God's heart for all of you is exactly what our mentorship told us. Check this out, it's amazing. Mentorship asked me, he said, what kind of father do you have in heaven? What kind of God do you serve? Does he love you? Is he a good father? I was like, yeah, of course. He said, do you honestly believe that he's not smart enough to embed, bury deep down in the middle of your dreams, his greatest plan for your life and a lot of folks around you? And I just sat there and thought, wow, isn't that what it means when he says he'll give you the desires of your heart? And that's a verse you use all the time. Yeah, that's mine. That's that's a thing. So you guys. And the verse right after that is commit to the Lord and your plans and they will succeed. So there you go. That's where we're at right now. That's what's going on in this season. And we're just, we're, re, we're bringing everything back online. So you're going to see us more on Facebook, yes. more on YouTube, more active. And we want to invite you to come with us. If there's any way we can support you in your journey, let us know. We want to be in your corner and come with us and be inspired, be encouraged. You guys, it's not a competition. It's a tribe. Oh. It's family. Go ahead. And like we really, really did not get to hug a lot of necks on our way out. And our kids would love more than anything to have a lot of pen pals. So if you want our address, you yes. can private message us. We will get that going. Um, we love each of you dearly. And we're thankful for your part in our lives and our journey that has brought us to where we are today. So come with yeah. us. We love y'all. And come look at this beach. Yeah, come visit. Come visit. Come, come be our neighbors. Visit.